Hey guys, Tommy here. Fresh up soda outdoors with tea. Springtime, favorite time. Doing some foraging. Never know what we might find. So we got a lot to explore out here. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Let's see what we can't get into. Alright guys, hunting this creek here and come across too much, but I do see up there, looks like maybe some turkey tail, but I don't know how well it picks up. Nice little drop. I'm on big ravine right here. Don't necessarily recommend you do this, but I wanted to get a closer look. So I'm taking you guys with me. And then I didn't really notice this either, but there's some wood ears right there. I don't know how fresh this is, but well, here's the wood ears. Those are fresh. Take them out. All right. These are flannel pockets. So let's see here. Oh, it's dry. real dry but it is I believe what we're looking for Let's see if we see pores up underneath there I think they might just be picking up a little bit yeah that's what you're looking for for a turkey tail Definitely leathery. I'm not gonna harvest any. Polypore, small holes, multiple colors with a clear distinction in the lines between the colors. I was hoping for some fresh stuff for some tea, but that's okay. Let's get a good shot of that. All right. Got a few wood ears out of it. So I'm having a lot of fun here. I already hiked the creek all the way through here and up down and around there and I jumped over came over here then hunting it back now I'm dangling off this tree here <laughs> uh, and I seen this on the way back there so I came back to take a look at it but let's see what else we can't find tune in a bit So I wanted to show you guys these trout lilies that are mature with the flowers. 
real pretty. And a lot of people will mistake those uh, leaves from the trout lilies as ramps, but they got those purple, dark maroon paint on them. Kind of cool seeing the bee. Right beside me. But yeah, wanted to get those. Those are edible too. Though they're not ramps, obviously. Trout lilies. And my next cool find are actual ramps. So. What I like to do when I buy these is to make sure it's what I I'm looking at. It is all green on the leaf, which is what we're looking for. Red at the stem. And then I like to give it a smell and it's got a real fresh oniony garlicky smell for sure. So there's some ramps compared to the trout lily. And then there's other, you know, lookalikes, but there'll be a bulb at the bottom, similar to a green onion, and, um, yeah, that's what you're looking for. I actually have a spot that's not so public, like this spot here, so I will take a few of these leaves, but I won't harvest any of the bulbs. And maybe I'll go off to that other spot and harvest some of those too. Because they are delicious. It's a nice healthy looking one. Of course watch where you're stepping. Don't want to get into them. we can't find all right so I said something about my other ramp spot here's the start of them too nice little loner there help me though and then all above this big root ball here more Some nice healthy ones up there yeah, I just found my next little patch of ramps here watch where you're stepping Maybe smaller ones around them I don't think this is the big one yet But in case I'm too early, and one of these is the big one, the harvest looks like a deer right here. Yeah, yeah, I'll harvest one of these. Bad little patch here.
probably easier ways to do this. So this is how I always do it. I'm trying to take my time though. Got a hold of the bulb. Definitely got a hold of the bulb and then I'm going to pop it off the roots. Definitely what we're looking for. Midwest ramp. Sweet. Let's see if I can't get that uh, bigger patch on screen. But that one's not bad. Maybe take a couple leaves from it and continue on. Real quick, I wanted to point out. There's where I just dug that guy. So you want to put your mud back down in there. And then just put the little bit of decay and leave debris on top. And essentially, patch looks undisturbed. This is why there's no need to over harvest anywhere really. You move far enough. You can find more and more, especially if you've already located it in an area. Just keep scouting. You never know. Get a leaf right here. First, I'm gonna get a tick off my neck. Where did he go? Out for those guys, tuck in your clothes and be paying attention. They're thick this year. Like I was saying, I'm gonna take a leave and I'm gonna keep hiking. Definitely what we're looking for. Oniony, garlicky smell. Cool. And I'm sure I won't have to travel very far and I'll find more again. Didn't even move, I was just right there. And uh, this whole area is just full of them. And it appears that I'm not the only one that likes ramp snacks. That is evidence of something eating that, guys. Kind of cool, probably deer. Maybe a rabbit, who knows. But if you look, check this out. Give you a quick run through here. I'm gonna try to watch my feet, of course. But they just keep going. I'm going. Look to my left. I see him going that way. Look to my right. Yeah, all through here. Look at them guys. I see him going that way. There's a nice classic example of what you're looking for right there in the sun. They can have up to three leaves, but you know, a lot of them only have one leaf. The healthy ones have two or three. You want that red stock down below? Onion you smell? Bulb on bottom? Delicious. There's some trout lilies mixed in here, but. Look, something else was snacking on this ramp. Cool, guys. All right, all over. Get back at it. All right. Been working real hard today for some fungus. And uh, I'm happy to get something on screen, I suppose. Not very big at all. Some real fresh, young pheasant backs. And I think I see some evidence of some older ones here. Maybe some oyster, big oyster, or another pheasant back, probably a pheasant back from last year. And usually scoot around this stuff and I find something bigger you never know these are so small I might not even harvest them 
even though they are the tastiest when they're young and dark like that. All right, keep moving around, see what else is out there. All right, guys. Looks like there's lots and lots of ramps today. I, uh, been scooting around and all over here, there. Hoping for some rail action and no such luck. But I've got these May apples, they're called right here. I believe they're called May apples, umbrella plants, whatever. And they say when those get to be knee high, they're pretty pretty low yet. So barely as tall as my boot. But I have found plenty of those today. So yeah, get out there guys. Thanks so much for watching. Wish you the best of luck. Maybe I'll have a cook up of these guys, what I found today for you guys real soon. And uh, I'm hoping for some morels real soon. Sorry it's been a while since I've ha uploaded a video. Uh, had my daughter Maya, which is awesome. She's uh, coming along great. Four or five months old now. So I've been busy being a dad. But uh, I have a teenager already and it's like riding a bike. But it's been a lot of fun watching her grow up this winter. So be looking forward to some morels, I hope, real soon more quality videos maybe not as much as last year but quality videos that's what i'm aiming for so hope you guys enjoyed it i love y'all appreciate you hit the like button you enjoy what you've seen subscribe if you haven't you know i'll be uploading more real soon so happy hunting out there y'all happy springtime we'll catch you on the next one